This chapter is about the vendor setup. More specifically, it's about how you can be sure to make correct and secure payments to the recipients. So that also includes customers and employees. When using direct communication, there's a certain amount of validation needed to ensure that the payments go through completely hassle-free. This setup will allow for that optimal workflow. So let's access the vendors, select one of them, and navigate to the Payments Fast tab. There's a balance account if a specific one should be used for this vendor, the preferred bank account of the vendor, and then there's a payment method code, which is a payment management payment method. This is very important and dictates how the validation of the data is performed. There's a setup for summarizing payments, which can help you save the fee for each line you have summarized, should your bank want one per payment line. You can allow for summarizing, but still have the option to exclude credit memos, refunds, or even payments from the summarizing. In the notification section, you can set up the recipient email if you want the vendor to receive an email notification. You can select a specific notification template if you want the notification to look different than the default one you've set up. And also you can change if you want to notify this vendor differently than the default you've chosen during the initial setup. In Reconciliation Suggestion Tolerance, you can specify a different tolerance for this specific vendor for when you want a reconciliation suggestion during bank account reconciliation. In the Fast tab, Alternative Vendor Information, you can put in an abbreviation or use another character if that is needed to get the data validated for the bank. That way, you don't have to change the original data of the vendor, and this information will be used every time you make a payment. This comes in quite handy when the name of the vendor is too long in Business Central to pass the validation in the bank or if a special character is used that is not allowed in the bank. If you go to Vendor in the top menu and select Bank Accounts, you can update the bank account information using an IBAN lookup. So based on the IBAN in this field, it will provide you with the correct information. You can also see if the bank account is verified or not. 